Good morning everyone. Welcome back to another video. So if you watched my last two videos, you'll know that I just returned to China and I was quarantined. In that hotel, I was quarantined for 14 days. If you want to see either of those videos, you can check the i button up above and see those. In total, I was quarantined for 21 days, 14 days in that hotel, and then seven days back at my apartment. Um, all in all, it went very well. Uh, I was able to keep up my practice. When I got back to my apartment, I had access to things like rings, a pull-up bar, um, weights, so I had access to all the things that I needed besides the environment, and now I am free to roam around China. Uh, during that 21 days, I probably got COVID tested maybe six, seven, or eight different times. All of them were negative, but now we are free to go. So I'm gonna show you a, a little part of this morning practice. It's about 6 a.m. Um, this is right next to where I live, you can see. Very, very beautiful. We're about to go to the basketball court because um, there's going to be no one there. And we're going to do some locomotion in this morning and that'll be the entire session. So I'm focusing on improvisation. Uh, we're first going to get a general warm up in after I got my spinal work in and then we will go do some improvisation with locomotion. So let's, let's go. So as you can see, it started raining. This is a good time to illustrate a very important point that there is no good, bad, or okay time to move. It's all the time. It doesn't matter, the weather's not gonna wait for you. If it rains, it snows, it sleets, find some way to get outside and move your body. Of course, things aren't going to be perfect. My handstand's gonna be a little bit slippery. Maybe some of my locomotion is not gonna be as stable, but this can help me in the long run. In fact, I actually love to train in the rain, especially here in China in the summer because it's extremely hot. The, the rain is a nice cool off. All right, now that I've warmed up a number of integrations, now I'm gonna get into the main work, which is improvisation. This improvisation takes about 40 to 50 minutes, depending on the rest time. It's a very fun and important part of the practice to be able to take the elements that you had in isolation and integration and bring them into improvisation. So I'm still working to bring these in a little bit smoother, use the new elements that I have and try to use them in different ways. This is always on the back of my mind and I will write notes after the session to say, oh, I didn't include this one enough, or I like this um, combination that I had, something, something, so I can always try to reflect on how I did and then improve in the next session. finished with the locomotion. I still do have about an hour left in this morning session. It's about 7.30 a.m. now. 
And let me uh, zoom in. <laughs> so that session in the morning took about an hour and a half. But I need to start heading back now, and then I'll finish the rest of the stuff in the morning a little bit later. But that's the end of today's video. If you have any questions, let me know. I have a lot planned both for this channel and also for resources for you guys in the future. I will see you soon in the next video. That's the session. How cool!